Wait, 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 don't pass this up. If I don't show it now, I will be angry because it'll be like me missing the heart piece and I totally forgot about this. Throw a bomb into this one. Yeah, I, I was thinking it was some other fairy fountain, but you do apparently have the thing that you need to get something in here. So yeah, throw a bomb in there and a great fairy will appear. Welcome to the Adventure Spring. Did you throw the golden bomb into the spring or the silver bomb? Man, this sounds awfully similar, but neither of them. Be honest, and you will get a nice upgrade. I must reward such an honest adventurer with some of my power. It's a big bomb bag! Yeah! And now I have 30 bombs. Well, I mean, a, a capacity for 30 bombs maximum. May light shine on your quest. And... Can I, like, recover my health here? I'm pretty sure I... Can't I recover my health here, Great Fairy? That would be very nice before I start the next dungeon. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, just throw another bomb in there. Anyway, back up to the dungeon. Oh boy, do I have a climb. Urgh. Well, that was a bother. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I still took some damage on my way up here, but whatever, I'll be fine. This is the Cave of Flames, the game's second dungeon. And of course it's hot in here, it's called the Cave of Flames. Look at the top of the dungeon, Ezlo. Look at it! It's steaming hot lava rocks! Okay, let's just... Uh, I don't even know why you bothered to point that out. <laughs> if you go up here, you're going to find that you are in a dead end and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah! Oh no! So that, as far as I can tell, is just there to fool you. You've got to go through this path. And whoops. These are Babams. Yeah, Babams from the Mario series. The way that I like to defeat these guys is just to hit them with your sword when you're in the doorway like that. And then, or actually in the like in like a corner or something like this, and then just let them bounce around on their own, because they're rather quick and hard to dodge otherwise. So, oh, jeez, see what I mean? <laughs> and I could have used one of them actually. Like if you hit them again with the, the sword and stun them while they're moving around like crazy, you can use them as a bomb basically, and you can use them to break open stuff like a normal bomb would be able to. By the way, another awesome song in the game. Oh yes. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is one of the um, few enemies in the game that you actually need the um, shield for. Sorry about that. I had to do something there for a second. And whoops, I forgot to equip the shield even though I was in the pause menu. So. Use your shield and you'll be able to flip them over like so, even if you bump into them like that. And, oh, I wanted to be in the way of the treasure chest as he was popping up. And I got the compass. That was really quick because I don't even have the map. You know, the compass without the map is like incredibly awkward and misleading because you don't know what rooms lead to what other rooms and be careful of these rupees yep it's a rupee like like and if it grabs you it will steal your rupees there's a regular kind of like like as well in the game and it will um rob you of your shield which is quite annoying especially since you need it for certain circumstances like that oh geez aha aha and this is what you can do with the uh, bombs just pick them up throw them like that if you need to do that but otherwise Oh, there's a heart that dropped. Otherwise, I just like to stand in the, in the doorway where it's safe because they never go through doorways like that. Just kind of, it's kind of cowardly, but it works really well. And we got some tracks here, mysteriously broken at this point. Okay, it's not that mysterious. I'm pretty sure you can tell what's going on here by the uh, marks on the floor. Um, over here is a dead end. These these doors are pretty special actually because they are associated with these tracks, so you can't get through them unless you use what is on the... Yes, 
Dinosaur spew what the humans who built the mine used to get around in here. Maybe we should hop in. Huh? What? After all this, you don't expect me to believe you're scared? There's nothing to be afraid of here. Come on, let's go. Thanks for interrupting me, Ezlo. Uh, I'll just kill these guys off. I don't think there's anything in this room besides the mine carts. Yeah, that's what I thought. So let's go jump in and have a nice, pleasant ride. Woo! <laughs> Sweet jumping jellyfish. That was awful. Hey, kid. What are you smiling about? I knew it was madness to risk our lives in that rickety human contraption. From now on, let's just stick to our feet. Well, I mean your feet. <laughs> sure, you thought that as low. Sure. <laughs> well, that was fun. And yeah, all of them in this dungeon are like that too. <laughs> and it's quite ridiculous. But oh, so much fun. I know you don't. And no, you don't. I'm going to save a bomb. Ha ha ha! I like how the um, structure on top of the doors also tends to crumble just a little bit as a little bit of extra detail on this game. I'll show you that the next time I have to bomb a door, unless you've already noticed that in the video, of course. Then again, how am I supposed to be able to ask you? Because this video is not uploaded yet. <laughs> or maybe... Maybe I can see into the future. How interesting. So there was a portal hidden away in here. Hmm. Whenever you want me to shrink you down, just hop up there. Hop up here and press R. Why do you say here? We're not there yet. There is here now. And let's shrink. Wait, did I, did I already see a portal of this kind before? I think I have. I want to see if the cutscene inside the portal is different just for the sake of no <laughs> that was pretty uh pretty decisive there oh boy now i can't do anything you can swing your sword like that but it doesn't do anything um here's a little mean trick and preview that the game designers have oh i got a heart contain i mean i got a heart piece no no, I can't pick it up. That's what I meant about that other uh, heart piece back at, um, back at the uh, forest. So yeah. Oh, spooky fog. Oh. Uh, you have to jump down at this little tiny hole. You for some reason can't do it at the stairs. I don't understand why, but you can't. Maybe I should have showed that, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. I guess they wanted I guess they wanted you to have like a little fire maze to go through. Yeah, these flames do indeed hurt you, obviously. I mean they're fire, you have human skin. That wouldn't work all that well. Don't stand on those for very long. Ooh, it's a game stone piece. Oh my! Looks really hot in that lava! Come on, Ezlo! Trust me, falling into that would be a bad idea. I'm sure you agree. And press that switch to open the door. That's why I came here first. These things respawn, so don't worry about it. Uh, here's a nifty little puzzle. If you don't have a fast enough R button trigger finger to be able to pick up one of those pots, you're going to fall in the lava. But you can set up the pots ahead of time like so and just walk across it normally. But I, I don't have any issues with the uh, uh, R button timing myself, so... Yeah... Um, no, I, sh I should probably have bombs out, actually. There's a lot of explosive things. Uh, get on this platform before it starts moving away at like the last second, because you want it to last as long as it can so it'll take you over to the other side, basically. Uh, these are Rolo Bites. They are like a beetle type of enemy, because if you hit them with your sword, they will turn into a ball, and then you can pick them up and throw them into holes and use them for all sorts of purposes, like, say, getting this treasure chest. <laughs> and, for instance, I'm going to... No, I didn't want to... I, I, I'm way too good at golf, apparently, because I'm getting all holes in ones, I'm not even trying. <laughs> there we go. Good thing there's one for every hole, otherwise I have to reset the room. You can't kill them, like... Uh, once, once they're inside a hole, they will not pop out of the hole, as far as I can tell. But uh, if 
if you don't throw them into a hole or lava or something like that, they will come out of their ball and start roaming around again, a la Sluggy Lust style. But uh, they don't, they aren't really that much of a threat, and they're more of a utility enemy than anything, because as you've seen, you gotta use them to solve puzzles. And don't worry, there's plenty of lift to get you over to this side. It only looks like you're going to fail at that. Oh, I'd like to open this chest. No, I can't. I, oops, I dropped the bomb. So what you gotta do here is, well, first press that switch, of course. Push this over to that hole and fill it in so it is level with your body and you'll be able to get its lovely contents. And, oh, geez, I'm trapped. Oh, wait, I went that way. Wait, actually, no, wait, that's... No... No, wait, I, I do have to go back, because there's a locked door back in the other path. Sorry! <laughs> so, back I go... And here we are. Now, what I'll be able to do is open this door, walk across the tracks, and watch what this switch does. Yep, it reroutes the minecart, which means I can now go through this door! I still can't get the heart piece! That's so mean! Why? Why? Just why? <laughs> get out of my way. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't think there was any prizes, I just wanted to get rid of them for the fun of it. Mm, oh jeez. Traps. That's how they teach you about the traps, is that when you are in their range, they will slide over to you. But what the game di designers did there was they put a hole in the way, so that when you walk over the hole, oh, they're supposed to uh, trap you like so, but they can't do so because, you know, you're, you're inside the hole. So that's a, <clears throat> that's a nice, another way that uh, game designers really pol ah, polish this game. I cannot speak. And what is that? What is this over here? Hmm. 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 Could it be the path to the elusive heart piece? Well, yes. Woo! Finally, and yeah, it really is that simple to get that heart piece. Mm. Gotta hop down here. Uh oh. Spiky symbol on the floor, what could this mean? Spiky enemy attack! And I would divide and conquer these things if you can. But otherwise, just kind of time your sword slashes to when they all jump at you at once. If you can get them to do that. It's, it's kind of a tricky room, actually, because you have so many of these really annoying uh, spiky choo-choos. And in here, we get... The Cane of Pocky! And this has the power to flip things over. By the way, I have not been checking my things. I still don't have the map, but now I'll be now I have more access to stuff. And why did I do that? I do not know. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I had everything I could get up to this point. And that's actually what I wanted to do. So, you can now flip stuff over like that! And remember those holes that we've seen all along the pathways? Hey, kid! Why don't you take that can of Pocky and fire it at that hole? I mean, you never know what'll happen until you try, right? It even reverses the properties of holes. That is wicked! <laughs> so instead of falling down, you pop up! And this creates a little warp point back to the start. I don't know why I decided to demonstrate that, <laughs> in all honesty. So let's just go back over through here. Pop up. Oh no! Oh yes! <laughs> it works so well. Oh so well. If only we had something like that in real life. You could flip over beached whales back in the ocean, it would be the most handy thing ever. Get ourselves small keys and dungeons, if those exist in real life. <laughs> and... 
this way. Yes, because there was a locked door over here. And actually, I think I'm going to end off the part here before I go through that door. So, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.